Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Uh, today on the kitchen table I'm going to talk about uh, antennas and reception and the best way to orient your antennas for the best reception. Before we go into that though, um, it's really hot today and I've been doing some stuff outside so I'm actually thirsty. So uh, it's just a glass of water, so excuse me. Oh, that's better, it is a hot day. Um, Right, yeah, this was um, prompted by a, a uh, somebody emailed me for some help. Um, they couldn't, they had a problem in that they could only get about two to three hundred feet up in the air before they lost control signal and got to return to home. And we went back and forth a, a few times and I tried to diagnose some things with them. And it turned out at the end that what they were doing was they were basically flying straight up. Um, and that was the root cause of the problem. Um, it says in the DJI manual that you should have your antenna oriented at 90 degrees to the ground, perpendicular to the ground, and you should make sure that the antennas on the legs of the Phantom or the Vision or the Plus are the same, orientated, pointing down straight at the ground. And it's worth checking because sometimes the ends of those can curve a little bit. But they don't explain why. Um, and they also don't explain when it's a bad idea to do that. So um, the way that these omnidirectional sort of whip type antennas work is that the radiation pattern, the signal pattern, is a bit like a donut shape. Now, sadly, I don't have a donut to demonstrate, but I do have a bagel. It's already been badly sliced, so I do apologize, but you know, you get the idea. So basically the, the, the radio transmissions, let's just angle that, come out of here like a big bagel. So you'll basically get a, a sort of a, a rounded, donutty, bagely shape of radiation. And from that, you can see that the weakest, pot, pot, uh, weakest point of the signal transmission is actually the very tip because the, the, the radiation pattern comes out and around, out and around. Now, normally, of course, if I'm over here somewhere with my aircraft, uh, having this perpendicular to the ground means that that sort of donutty shape is, is giving you the max coverage. And if you're away, obviously, as it goes up and out, that'll be no problem. If you're directly overhead, though, what's happening is you've got your antennas on the aircraft pointing this way your antenna on your transmitter pointing that way with the two weakest points of transmission and reception facing each other. And that was causing the problem, climbing directly overhead to take photos or whatever and losing control signal. Doesn't happen to everyone. Some of the transmitters seem to be a bit better than others. But anyway, if you are working close in and higher up, I find that it's actually better to orient your antenna this way. So that that sort of donut shape of transmission is coming up and around and you've got a better chance of getting a signal up to your receiver. Now obviously the antennas on the Phantom are going to be oriented still down that way. If you have a specific reason to do some straight up ahead, maybe you've got a very narrow kind of flying area or something like that, then you could even slightly curl one of the antennas on the Phantom to the side, but to be honest, this I find normally normally sorts things out for operating fairly close, fairly high. So if you're having um, reception problems close in and you can't, you find you can't get as high as some people, that might be the answer. The alternative, of course, is to move your control location somewhere else. But don't forget, when you move away, reorient perpendicular to the ground. Um, and, you know, if you keep that kind of diagonal um, range to your, to your aircraft, you're probably not going to get into any issues. So that's a brief um, overview of uh, why you might have problems close in uh, at height um, and, and what you can do about it. Right, I'm off to go and have this for lunch. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on The Kitchen Table. Bye-bye.